I went outside a couple of minutes ago and I stood there in the cold. What's the temperature? Oh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, minus 12 Celsius, if it's accurate. Blazer. I came outside and I stood here for 10 minutes. Well, not 10 minutes, 2 minutes. It sure felt like 10 minutes. I'm trying to think, what did I come out here for? I know what it is. I came out here to get my tripod because I'm getting warmed up or freezing right now. I am going to, look how nice that house looks. Maybe somebody will buy it in the summer. That a great shot. I can see the bit of light in the sky, but you can't. Nope, nothing to see. Cute, huh? Anyhow, I got my tripod. Whoa, I can smell that wood smoke. Smell that wood smoke. I've got my tripod, and I've got a nice fire going in the wood stove. How's that fire looking? And I got some flies. But I also got fly paper. And we got two customers in the first few seconds. And we got another one just waiting to land on the fly paper. How annoying they are. What a way to go, huh? Here, I'll put it on macro. Give me a second. There. Macro. Can you see that guy buzzing around? He's wondering why his friends don't come and join him. He said, it's so warm in here, you could zip around this light fixture. These guys aren't going anywhere. Right there. Oh, is he fast. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw a shadow in the back. Yep. We have landed. For the last time. Yeah, one leg, two leg, one wing. Oh well. If you think I'm torturing the the flies here in my house, just think about it next time you eat a chicken dinner. How that chicken ended up on your plate. Oh, got one more customer here. Land baby land. Exciting, huh? Watching flies land on flypaper. Oh well. How's our wood doing? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, forgot to open up the draft. Oh, I did open it up going to burn too fast. There. More wood. More wood. More coal. Good fire, huh? Ooh. Getting a lot of control. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Don't forget to close the draft. And then it flips itself open a little bit check on our flies and then we'll make our way back upstairs get on our hands and knees and get to work oh that guy that was buzzing around he's got a lot of energy but ain't enough huh, buggy over here see this guy see him with little whiskers yeah huh green fly There. There in the wood background. All right. I'm going to go upstairs. I've got Marketplace on with Kai Rizdal. Got lots of products here. Map by. Got my water. Of all 
Got my relatively clean bucket. And I've got to find my drill. Got my little crappy mixer here from the dollar store. Sponges from the dollar store. Scrub it. Made in USA. Newark, New Jersey, Supply Plus, Inc. And I got another one here from the dollar store. Scrub it. Same company. And then I've got this Carmen Industries. Multi-purpose synthetic chamois sponge. Manufactured in Canada. Fabrique au Canada. The Carmen Industry, 280 Fayon Street West. W-E-S-T. West. What to be wet. Montreal, Quebec. With no accents on the Montreal or the Quebec. How do you like that? Super sponge. One dollar. All I'm going to do is find my drill now. So that I can grow up my floor. Mix it by hand. What's that? I got my saw. Got my tile cutter. Got my water bottle. Got my flush saw. Got my mini flush saw. And no drill. Hmm. Where is the drill? I'll have to borrow Fruit Loops' drill. What have we got here? Got a jigsaw. Got lots of batteries. Got a nailer. Got Fruit Loops' drill. Guess I'll use his. How's the fire going? Oh, yeah. It's roasting in there, boy. Bring your marshmallows. Whew. Love it. See you in a bit. Uh, yeah, it's cooking now. Listen to it. Sucking the oxygen. Damper closed. Don't tell Mrs. CW what I'm doing. One, two, three. I guess the other fly flew the coop. Yeah. I just remembered where the drill was. Get my flashlight out of my pocket. Always got to have a flashlight in your pocket. I have three. Not much to see in here. Turn the light on, that would help. Got my torch set. Ah, here's where I come. Like coming to look. Chimney! I know where my drill is. I've been doing something else while you were sleeping. Did some wiring here. And I put some outlet covers on that I actually cut from two outlet covers. I got a bunch of stainless steel ones years ago and I'll never use them so I just cut them. And joined two covers together. There it is. There's the drill. Where's the drill? Well, a bit that goes in the end. Huh. Not in the tip. That's odd. Got my two mowers that I beat up. My Toro and my Cub Cadet. Another wood stove. Okay. Got my drill, got my tripod. I'm going to go up and get some work done. Drunk clinics 
Oh, I forgot my pad for my knees. In Russia! You hear that, cadets? You're not a drunk, are you? Nope, my friend. This is APM. All right. Got my sponges, got all my tools, and my tripod. And I got a mosquito zipping around here. Can I get him? What is it? Long-legged, juicy one. And Iron Horse Entertainment Group. Presenting Cut Bell Saranac Lake, WSLJ Watertown, WSLU Peru, WSLH Blue Mountain Lake, WSLG North Creek, WSLQ Flypaper, WSLB Bloomville, WSLS Tupper Lake, WSLS. Huh, so you got a guy standing right on the edge. LG North. Licking his chops. Oh, he's got one wing stuck. Not stuck enough, though. Do we? Oh, well. Get to work! This is the world. West winds will be strong. Ten below zero. And then uh, become calm after midnight. Sunny skies tomorrow with highs uh, in the mid-teens. You can get more weather information anytime at nccr.org. Just go to the weather link right on the front page. Squish. It's now seven o'clock. The world is next. From Public Radio International. This is the, is the world. world. Goodbye. Great. The quality of food okay. is very questionable too. I thought I'd show you what I was doing. They also have a show on bombshell thin women in Moscow. How they become these rotund babushkas. That's why they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The condition of... Do you like your women skinny? Like a carrot? Or fat? Like a pea? More than we do right now. They are... Uh, the people who produce the future generations. Russians have a history of eating foods that thrive in cold climates, including wheat, rye, buckwheat, and root vegetables, like potatoes and beets, all high in carbs. It's also not uncommon for Russians to have bread at every meal and sweets at least once a day. And since sweets and bread are among the most inexpensive items, they're often over-consumed by those who have to watch their rubles. Pensioner Yelena Nikolaevna is one of them. She says she knows she's gained a lot of weight due to her poor diet, but she's on a budget and, well, she's got to eat. She says, I happily eat. I like my Pringles. Yeah. Everyone is afraid to gain weight. With some vodka. Okay, I'm joking. <laughs> this babushka knows her poor diet can lead to weight gain is actually a step in the right direction. She says even the Kremlin is acknowledging the need to educate Russians about a healthy diet and weight. Very eat healthy. Eat carrots and, and apples. That changed here in Moscow, especially in the last 15 years. There are gyms, personal trainers, and most every oh. type of food is available. Dark the right brown grout Honey doesn't Judy show the dirt. Shia says she and her friends are a lot more health conscious than the last generation of women. I believe that uh, modern women would, would look oh, much more like better. Oh, it sounds like she was educated in England. And as you know, we are very curious about all kinds of uh, new things that are happening around. So new, new, I don't know, new, new creams, new lotions, new body treatment. Meanwhile, creams and lotions. <laughs> I saw some of those in my dumpster. Babushka! Not a babushka, a babushka. For the world, I'm Jessica Gulliver in Moscow. A tiny Pacific island shows up on our radar for today's GeoQuiz. All right. I'm getting it done. I think I made a little bit too much mix this time. Don't anybody criticize the way I do this job. I do ceramics like three, four times a year. Where north, south Pacific currents. The water looks kind of muddy. Bring plenty of ocean litter, like plastic bottles and floating debris. There's even said to be unexploded.